Why'd they have to give me that transfer? Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? <laughs> You're too kind. I was simply doing my job. Now, I believe that the last time we met, you mentioned that you were looking to source some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins. Have there been any further developments on this front? Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, uh, in the end I did acquire a small piece of Smaragdus Jadeite and had it fashioned into a pair of hairpins. Miss Yanfei, might I presume that you have an interest in the hairpins? I must apologize, I have already rented them out to a lady named Zhe Chiao. If you'd like to inspect them, you may have to wait quite some time. Wait! Isn't Smaragdus Jadeite really rare? Aren't you worried about the hairpins getting damaged or lost while they're being rented out? No, I'm not worried in the slightest, because I signed a contract with Ms. Zhe Chiao before renting them to her. The contract makes it quite clear that if she loses or damages the item in question, she must compensate me for its full original value. In return, I included a clause that guarantees the Smaragdus Jadeite is genuine, with a penalty of ten times the- Guaranteed genuine? With ten times the value payable if this claim is shown to be false? Yes, these ter- Of course. This way, both the client and I have the assurance we need- In that case, might you know where Miss Your Chow lives? We'd like to pay her a visit and have a- Oh, of course. She wrote her- Thanks a lot, Mr. Crossel. We'll be off now. Whatever shall I do? Y yes, that's me. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do, Miss Your Chow? We understand from Mr. Crossel that you recently rented a pair of hairpins from him. My associates and I are very interested in them. Would you mind letting us take a look at them? The hairpins? I can't. I don't know how it could have happened. I always kept them right by my sock. I spent so much money on them. If I have to pay their original value, but there's n I. My family is in the ore business too, but business has been suffering ever since the chasm was sealed off. We now have a backlog of paid up orders just sitting around, so we've been having to. A big banquet is coming up in a few days, and several ore merchants I know of will be there. That's what the hairpins were for, too. But now that I've lost the hairpins. Ah, <gasps> why does Paimon have a sudden strong sense of deja vu? Would you really? I sent a commission to the Adventurer's Guild, but I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Hold on. Don't run off looking for the hairpins just yet. Huh? Well, I mean, sure, I haven't- Let me see. That's right! Yanfei said she's a legal advisor, didn't she? Maybe she can help Jichao so- True. Don't- Right. I finished reading the contract. The terms are very clear, and they do indeed stipulate that you must pay Mr. Crossel the original value of the hairpins as compensation for the loss. Furthermore, the contract also expressly states that the amount of compensation must take current market prices into account. And given the rarity of Smaragdus Jadeite, I fear that the final amount of compensation may end up being significantly higher as a result. Even higher? Oh no. Uh-oh. Jichao looks like she- However, all of this is assuming that it is indeed genuine Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid into the hairpins. Did you really have to pause before saying that part? Anyway, the hairpins are lost, so how exactly w Whichever way you look at it, we've got to start by finding those hairpins. Except that if we found the hairpins, there'd no longer be any need to check whether the Jadeite is genuine, would there? Right. 
Please. Please, I... Don't trouble yourselves over... However much it is, I will have to... Pa now that it's come to this, I really should... Mm, yes, legally speaking, it seems this is... So hold on a moment, Mr. Chow. When you... What did I feel? Well, I remember that the gemstone... My family has seen much jade pass through it. Hmm. Smooth to the touch. No, it's nothing. I just need to re-examine a few things. Miss Yanfei, you've returned. With Miss Jiqiao and To, too. <laughs> you lost them? Are you serious? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. Help Mora! <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that smarag... I, I just don't... <laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yeah, it was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jade I inlaid into the hairpins. Of course. Genuine article guaranteed, or I pay back ten times the value. All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow and Compa- Thank you very much. <laughs> How could she lose my hairpins? She'd better pay every last mora that they're worth. Looks like I'll have to find some way to raise that money. Please wait, Mr. Chow. I have something to discuss with you. It's not convenient to speak here, so let's find somewhere that we can sit and talk in more detail. Miss Yenfei, what is this about? Are you- No. What I wanted to talk about is, there is a chance that the Orin laid on those hairpins may not be smaragd- uh, What do you mean? Are you implying that you or- Obviously not. I'm no adventurer, let alone a member of the guild. I don't run thankless time cons- I don't know if Granny told you this. But Smaragdus Jadeite is found deep underground, and can- If mere mortals come into contact with it, well- Mr. Chow, did you at any time feel- No, not at all. Hmm. Now that is strange. If I have deduced correctly, he may st If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. And then, he'd throw the Smaragdus Jadeite into the sea the moment we were gone. After that, he would simply insist that Mr. Chow pay up per the contract. He would lose nothing. Meanwhile, we would have to look under every stone in Liyue, hoping and praying that the hair- So vivid that Paimon thinks it might be experience- Oh, it certainly is. I've seen my fair share of situations like this, and brute force methods are certainly what- Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, Perhaps. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? Paimon can't even keep track. It feels like Yanfei is even more concerned with them than a certain someone else we know. These are my formal terms of engagement. Everything prior to now has just been probo- Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take- No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. 
Now write your address here, and I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the. <sighs> this contract has so many pages. Paimon's all out of brain juice again. All right, that should do it. My fees are the same as always, and they're written in the contract. Have a look through and let me know if you have any questions. I've had a read through. Everything checks out. Well then, here's your copy of the contract. I will retain the other copy. Not for now, no. Despite how intractable this problem might sound, it will act- I don't believe you have been part of an investigation like this before. In which case, hopefully this should be quite the experience. Miss Yunfei, I have to ask. Because, as it happens, I'm currently trying to acquire some Smaragdus Jadeite myself. I noticed strong traces of geo-energy around Mr. Crossel, so perhaps he has. Whether he actually made it into an item of jewelry or not is a separate matter, but either way, it's a lead. As long as we follow it, who knows? We might just be able to get our hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite. Also, the idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. But again, let's not dwell on this. Let's go to... hmm... Where can we find someone who process- Ha! Ah, I've got it! Let's pay a visit to Chateau, the boss of the Jade Mystery. He's a professional when it comes to working with stone and ore. If Mr. Crossel had his ore worked on at all, Chateau would undoubtedly have been his first choice. Why, hello there, honored customer. No, nothing of the sort. Has a Snezhnayan merchant named Krosel you... Mm, I do remember that. He brought me... That was the first time I'd ever encountered it, so I had no way of telling if it was really Smaragdus Jadeite or... He was quite generous with his money, too, so I didn't give it too much thought. Hmm... Do you ha uh, Why, yes! It was my first time encountering this ore! Thank you, sir. We'll take a look at them. Don't yes, it's not particularly rare, nor is it especially valuable. I've heard it said that Smaragdus Nephrite is in fact the outer layer. A thin layer of separation! If you must see for yourself, try examining these shavings for traces of elemental energy. Smaragdus Nephrite... Is that so? So, did you find anything? So they really are different! But wait, how come Jichao is able to tell what it was just... There's nothing special to it. It just so happens that I've come across a great many of- These two stones actually look very similar. Someone without a deep understanding of them would find it very difficult to tell them apart. There may be only a subtle difference for the casual viewer, but that translates to an astronomical- And, I'm sure, a significant difference in the cost of having them carved into- Alright, let's focus up. We're going off on a tangent. But, never mind, Shirto. Why would Mr. Crossel? <sighs> Unusual actions have unusual reasons behind them. Let's take some of these shavings back to Chateau. Try your luck betting on Jade? Miss Yenfei? Might I be so bold as to inquire? Um... If you could just confirm for me once more, sir. Mr. Crossel did indeed claim that the ore he brought to your store was, in fact, Smaragdus Jadeite. Uh, yes, that's right. Then I have no further questions. But could I borrow the processing record and the stone shave? Of course. <laughs> oh, I have my reasons. Ah, yes. Please sign. This document shall serve as signed proof that these stone shavings originated from the, uh... Or that Mr. Crossel brought to your store. Please re- Hmm, yes, I see, I see. <laughs> Forgive me for asking again, Miss Yanfei. I wouldn't say there's been an incident, just a minor issue. Thank you, sir. With this hard evidence to back us up, Crossel won't dare- 
I try to- On the contrary, this is far from sufficient to build a case. We need to find something a little more compelling. If you want to make jewelry, you need a professional jewelsmith. Let me think. Jewelry. Jewelry. Aha! Got it! Singsy. She often helps people to find a jewelsmith. Let's go pay her a- Well, that was quick. How come you know so- Because lots of people come to me for legal advice every day. As you know, Liyue Harbor is the city of- But the amendments made by the Tianchuan- As such, legal advisors like- So you help them make sense of the law. Yes, well, that's no obstacle, because I've memorized all the legal codices. You meant? You sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Oh, this has nothing to do with being an adept. Again, with that casual tone. Well, that's that then. Let's go look for Singsi. Try not to enjoy this too much.